All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. We are Destination Full-Time RV, where we bring you campground tours and local attractions. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button in the bottom corner, and uh, we'll keep bringing you videos. This week, we are at Clay's Resort, which just uh, got into the Jellystone franchise, and that is in North Florida, Ohio. Right, so the reason that we booked this place is we always gravitate towards water. And this is a huge pond with a bunch of inflatables, obstacle courses, sandy beaches. Uh, it's just been a great week so far, and we're looking forward to showing you guys what they have to offer. Uh, we're gonna do a campground tour. They're adding a lot of new things. Uh, we're getting ready to hit this big island behind us. So we're gonna get to the video. Cause I've been living life right like I could just die any minute. Going for a ride down the side, PCH, country limit. I don't need a guide for the lights. Take me where I wanna visit. Are you alive? Or just breathing? Cause I've been living life right like I could just die any minute. Going for a ride down the side, PCH, country limit. I don't need a guide for Red lights, driving at night, windowless ride, feeling alive, nothing in sight, forever in flight, follow those lines, we'll make it this time, blurry street lights, work as a guide to memories that we're making tonight, oh yeah, we'll make it tonight, yeah. We are at Clay's, and we are up at the swimming area. This is uh, designated swimming and kayaking only, no fishing. Uh, they supply the kayaks, paddle boards, we're in a three-man canoe, so we're going to tour around the lake. Uh, it's a little bit overcast today, so we decided we'd jump out and uh, enjoy these. Hagen's on a cool fishing kayak. So we go going, boy. These kayaks are at no additional cost, yeah, too. Yeah, these, they're included in your stay. These are free. And that, honestly, there's enough of them where uh, there's you didn't have to wait in line. Yeah, there's a lot of options. Okay. Over here, boy. Okay. Mommy's not doing any work. Included with your campground fee, you get uh, some inflatables for the little kids and a small, like, uh, I don't know, obstacle course for them. And then as you go to the right, it gets a little more advanced until you get up to like that glacier thing. Several lifeguards on duty. I think there's like one every 50 feet, so there's like six or eight just along that section of beach. If you can, I would come during the week. Oh, yeah, absolutely come during the week. It's so much quieter during the week. On the weekends, it's almost like Oh, for sure. Way too Shoulder busy. to shoulder. We, we arrived on Sunday, July 3rd, and that's how we always plan our family vacation is that week of the 4th. Uh, it was just packed. It, it honestly was not really our style, but everything cleared out yesterday, and uh, we pretty much have the place to ourselves. So free putt-putt, free um, kayaks, canoes. You know, you can come up here as much as you want, go back to your camper, get some lunch, come back up. Uh, really, Everything you need is here. There's restaurants, there is... Ice I mean, cream. Yeah, ice cream. Beer. You can get pizza. So there were some people yesterday got some pizza made. So, pretty we, we don't know if it's any good. We haven't ate it. No, we have not either. Uh, you can tell behind us that they're doing the work on the pool. Looks like they have a smaller wave pool up to three feet, and then they had a larger pool all done. Just waiting for the liner maybe, and um, obviously, Hoping to be open next year, I would say. Splash pad's done. That looks like it might have been here before, but uh, I think they're gonna have some water slides, so. Yeah. Definitely an up and comer. What do you think? I like it so far. Put your paddle down so you can see. You're gonna knock mommy out. Um, you like, like it so far? I like it so far. Um, there is one fishing pond where. Talk louder. Gotta speak up. There's one fishing pond and there is one swimming pond which we're at now and there's also basketball 
poop in the water and also volleyball. Did yeah. you catch any fish? Yeah. What kind of fish? Catfish, bass, and oh yeah, some fishes. Rock bass and I can keep going. I can go on and on. Go on and on forever. Did you catch any fish? Yeah. What'd you catch? Do you remember? Yeah. I caught lots of bluegill. Lots of bluegill? I caught a catfish. Mm. Oh, Are you having fun? Look at how these have one tackle. I like this canoe. Do ya? Yeah. Let's get paddling then. If you guys are looking at booking clays or you've been here before and you're just wondering what's new for 2022, I'm going to show you real quick. These are all new. Alright, so these cabins behind me, these are new. This section behind me, above the swimming pond, where the new pool is going to be, is actually so new, they're pouring the concrete today. This Gaga pit is so new, they just built it yesterday. So these two dog parks behind me, they're new. This is the parking lot for the day use area. Also new. This is new. So this camp store by the swimming area, brand new. So I'm standing in the rec hall where last night we played bingo and they've done crafts all week. Uh, they have a bunch of games. Uh, carpet ball, Jenga. They got these cool tables for bingo. They did uh, cornhole in here. This actually used to be a pool as of last year. So this is also new. Very nice. All right, so this playground that you see behind me, it's all new. So this is a new road that they put in overlooking the fishing pond where they're putting more cabins. This is also going to be new. So up by the swimming area, they added a bunch of new cabins. They all look like this. They're all brand new. All right, so this building behind me, it's overlooking the swimming area. It's actually got a full service bar on a patio up top so you can watch the kids swim. And it's got a little food court in here. This is brand new. All right, everyone, so it's Wednesday, July 6th, and the park is pretty much cleared out, and we're gonna take this opportunity to do a walk around with you guys. So they have a few different uh, selection of sites you can choose from. We chose a premium back-end site, which our site is very beautiful. It looks over the huge lake, or, or the huge Fishing pond. Fishing pond, yep. Um, they, it is gravel when you pull in and then a small section of grassy area but they are full hookup that's why it's considered a premium site yep um so those are the sites behind us yep so um the way the vibe that we're getting is this is kind of broken up into two different sections it's all one part of the park um, you don't ever have to leave to get over to the water attractions but this is very much the campground portion um a half a mile away is the water park so um we're right now kind of at the center hub of everything around the fishing pond. So like she was saying behind us, this is our camper. Uh, we are in BH3. There's probably eight spots uh, alongside this uh, pond. So we got a nice spot overlooking a couple cabins which overlook the pond. Uh, if you spin around behind us, uh, you will see what they call their red carpet. So these are brand new cement slabs that they poured. Looks like they went through and did all new electric and water. That's why there's no grass in this section at this time. Um, obviously, they'll, they'll be working on that, I hope. Yeah, if you're willing to pay for the money, I would say that would be worth it. But I know there was quite the jump in the price That's right. for, between the premium and the red carpet. Which right now, I don't know if I'd want to do anyway because it's all dirt. All dirt right now. Yeah, <laughs> so they put a lot of work into that. And, and obviously, there'll be some grass there in the future. But if you look uh, the next row over we'll show you that is the premium pull through site um, those ones have a cement slab for your patio but your camper will just be on stone yeah but they are very gigantic yeah super long um, on the other side of that uh, they actually have five cabins those cabins are brand new this year so when this campground 
uh, bought into the Jellystone franchise, they automatically started putting new things in here. Uh, one new thing are these cabins behind us. Uh, we'll throw up some footage. Got to do a walkthrough of uh, just a beautiful setup. I would actually buy one of those and put it like on a piece of property. Those are nice cabins. Yep. So all in this area, they do have a camp store, but that is only open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It is closed Monday through Friday. So to get any of your supplies, you would need to go over where the swimming area swimming is. pond is. Um, they do have laundry here that's coin operated. It's like two dollars a load, um, and that you can also use paying uh, on an app. Yep. So you can just use your card, charge it to your card. Yep. So we'll get walking. Uh, on the other side, you can see this giant hangar over here that's actually a basketball court. Uh, there's lights underneath there, and the kids have been playing there almost every night until about 11 o'clock. Uh, so that's kind of neat if it's rainy. There's actually some more pull-through sites over there, but uh, let's get to the walk, and we'll show you what some of these look like. All right, so let's take a closer look behind us. You can see their red carpet uh, section. As we mentioned before, looks like the pedestals and the water are all brand new. Uh, they have awesome cement slabs to park your rig on, as well as the patio uh, with a picnic table. So this is uh, sites 1 through 23 are going to be the cement slabs, uh, what they call their red carpet. Uh, I think you're looking at over $1,000 uh, for the week. And there, Yeah, there is something to note though. If you plan on staying for a full week, five days or seven days, if you go on their website and look at like promos or I think it's like deals they give you a coupon code that gives you I think 20 or 25 percent off yeah, so we, we saved a couple hundred bucks probably by staying the, the full week and looking up at those discounts so just look at their website search around see if you can find those promo codes so we'll keep walking through uh, go look at some of the pull-through sites okay so looking at your map labeled in blue uh, section 1 through 14 in the blue will be your premium pull-through sites uh, these are different from the red carpets. They do not have the um, cement slab, but they do have a patio uh, where you can set your picnic table. Mm -hmm. I always thought they were more of a pain trying to get your camper lined up just right to step out onto them. Uh, I don't know if I'm a big fan of having just that cement slab for your patio. But another option, here you have grass. Obviously they didn't have to dig it up to redo the posts and everything, but um, there's quite a few of these around. Nice and quiet over here now. <laughs> it was a busy weekend, but uh, it's definitely relaxing right now. I'm, I am interested to see how this weekend co this compares to the, the weekend July we weekend. got here. Yeah, absolutely. It was it was so busy. This is our speed right now. Uh, <laughs> no one. No one. <laughs> so uh, let's go over and there's some more pull through sites over there. We'll go take a look at those cabins a little closer as well. All right. So let's talk about cabins. This place. Uh, is just drowning in cabins. Some beautiful cabins. Yeah, they're in really good shape yep. and, and pretty. I, I think if you didn't want, if you're coming from quite a distance and didn't want to haul your camper, these would be a great option um, if you wanted to come here because they're pretty. So this is um, the deluxe cottage. Uh, it actually has uh, the living area in the center. It has a master. It has a bunk bed, and it has or not a bunk bed. It has a loft. And then it has another like queen size bed or, or whatever uh <laughs> beautiful this is a beautiful setup i would literally buy this and put it on a piece of property and live in it uh this is a gorgeous piece but they also have uh whippoorwill cabins uh, deluxe cottages cozy cabins and the rustic cabins uh, up near the swimming area they just put a whole lane in uh, yeah. i believe that's the whippoorwill cabins if you wanted to go with a group of people and kind of have your own area they're just beautiful, like Cape Cod style cabins. Yeah. They're really neat. And I think, I mean, this this was just bought into the Jellystone franchise, but it looks to us like they're gonna be putting a lot oh. more sites over closer to the water, water park. park. Absolutely. A lot of potential here for, I mean, there's just large fields with giant pavilions. There's just so much room for growth here. It's already big, it's already beautiful, but I think that they're really gonna do something with this. Yep. It's gonna be. It's beautiful as long as the people take yes, care of it. That is true. The, when we first got here, there was a, so much litter all over the grounds. It was so much that the, the staff just can't, couldn't, keep, couldn't up. keep up. Yeah. But now that the, the crowd has exited, the, the staff, staff is done well. doing really well of picking up everyone's garbage. Yeah, it was a busy weekend and they just didn't have the staff to keep up with it. It was 
you know, just be respectful. It, it was really a shame to see, but uh, yeah, so let's go uh, check out this little playground and the basketball area. All right, so we're uh, up by this big hangar now that the basketball court is in. There's a little playground here, uh, nothing too fancy. It's got some swings, but I think the big draw of this section is definitely this basketball area. So the kids have been in here playing uh, almost every night till about 11 o'clock, and it's great. So if it's raining, they can still do stuff. So uh, pretty neat. I've never seen somebody take uh, basketball quite to this level, but it's pretty neat. Up above here, we do have some more uh, completely cement uh, slab area. We'll go up there and take a look at that. All right, so we're up above the hangar right now that has the basketball hoops. Um, so this would be a couple more options for your red carpets. Uh, cement slabs, cement patios, uh, fire pits, obviously. This one actually has more grass, so uh, probably a better choice. For this year. For right? this year, yep. Okay, so behind this, you can see the office. Uh, that's actually only open on the weekends. This for one is, the yep. store, but you can still use the laundry room. In the rec area, they have a rec area that has some games and puzzles for the kids, and yeah. that's where they do their ceramics. That's and right. Kids were coloring it earlier. Yeah. Uh, and then up there, there's also a um, tennis court. So let's go check out the tennis court. All right, so we're still uh, in the camping area, and we're up by the office. So this is a look at their tennis court, and they also have a couple smaller nets uh, for pickleball, if you want to come up, get a Just, couple of rounds in. Yeah, get, get your exercise in. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go take a look at the volleyball area real quick that they have on this section, and that'll kind of wrap it up. Um, there's a ton of seasonals here, so we're not going to get into showing you all those. Uh, we just wanted to show you, get a glimpse of uh, some places you can rent for a weekend or a week or whatever. Yeah, this place is gigantic. So this video may be a little bit longer than yeah. <laughs> normal, yes. but th it is a gigantic park. I think with Jellystone coming in, they have really done a ton of upgrades already. I yes. thought they saw the potential in the property. Um, and I, I think this place will just keep getting better. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna show you uh, like she said, a little bit more of a video, but we want you to know what has changed since last year. So let's go down and check out the volleyball court and then we'll go check out the swimming area. So as you can see behind us, this is the glamping tent section. Uh, there's two of these right on the lake. Uh, you can bring your kayaks, you can head out into the water. Uh, these have a couple bunk beds, a uh, place you can cook, table, hammock, and a fire pit. So let's uh, go check these out. All right, so this is another option for a cabin. This is the deluxe suite. Um, beautiful porch overlooking uh, the fishing lake. So another option if you didn't have a camper or didn't want to bring your camper. Uh, let's go check these ones out. Just finished the campground tour. Um, we are loading up the truck and gonna drive about a half a mile up to the swimming area. So check it out. All right, so we're up here at the day use area and the swimming pond. 
So you can get in this way if you're only gonna come for the day. It's $30 a person. Kids under three are free. Uh, this parking lot is all brand new. Uh, over there you have the putt-putt and the gem mining. Uh, looks like a brand new putt-putt course. Behind that you have the volleyball courts. I think there's four uh, volleyball courts. There's two jump pillows. There's also a little place where they had some bands this weekend. Uh, so when you're sitting by the beach, you can hear the bands play. That's uh, the swimming area. You got your zip line and your big slide and a bunch of inflatables. This office slash bar overlooking the lake is brand new this year. So that's in very good shape, very nice and clean. Pretty neat, you can buy a couple drinks overlooking the lake and watch your kids swim. They do have a ton of lifeguards. Uh, I think there's like eight of them watching the kids at all times. Uh, around the corner, you'll have a little splash pad for the kids. But also, I think the big news is they're putting in a couple new pools. Uh, one is going to be for the little kids. One, I think, is going to have the slides. And then it's also going to be a hot tub area. Uh, looks like a brand new bathhouse there with that. So pretty exciting up here. A lot of stuff going on. Uh, very awesome area. It's kind of separate from the campground, which is nice. You don't get all the traffic going through the campground. Uh, it's like a half mile run. So we brought the truck most of the time. You can rent golf carts or you can just walk it. Let's go check this all out. So another thing that I wanted to mention, um, just off of this parking lot area, there is a whole section of brand new cabins that they put in. So if you didn't want to bring a camper, if you don't have a camper, there's options for cabins everywhere, different styles. Uh, those ones over there, uh, just a beautiful section if you want to come as a group. Uh, they kind of have like little half circle areas, or if you just wanted to be by yourself, they have them off to the side. But brand, brand new playground back there, and those cabins are amazing. And it's not too far of a walk. Come down this road, and to get to the swimming area. So definitely keep that in mind if you're looking to book here. All right, so that's gonna wrap up our week-long stay here at Clay's Resort and Jellystone in North Lawrence, Ohio, just south of Akron, Ohio. Yep, so we had a great week. Uh, the kids had lots of stuff to do. We were able to show you some of the cabins and the camp spots that are available. Um, and we just hope you found this video Helpful. useful. Absolutely. Um, so there's a lot of new things going on. So we tried to show you clips of what's new. Um, a lot of changes here since becoming a Jellystone, but we had a good week. Uh, it was busy, 4th of July weekend, as you need to expect, but after that, through the week, and even into this next weekend, it was awesome. Yeah. Um, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. so you can stay uh, tuned to our future adventures. That's right. Uh, lots to do here for the kids. Volleyball, basketball, they had the rec center, had a ton of stuff to do. Uh, we're wrapping the video up, but I wanted to make sure everyone knew we had a great time here at Clay's Resort in Jellystone in Ohio. We'll see you on the next one.